What's up, everybody? Welcome back to On Thin Ice, the podcast where Peyton and I, we, uh, we're going to ask each other some thin ice questions. <laughs> How'd you fuck that up? <laughs> no, I did it on purpose. We're going to ask each other some icebreaker questions, um, as we normally do. But first, how have you been, buddy? Dude, let me tell you, I'm really excited. Like, of course, I'm excited to talk on the podcast with you. But I'm way more excited for after because <laughs> I watched Godzilla minus one recently and it's such a fucking good movie. Everyone says it's perfect. I've got a couple gripes, but it's definitely the best Godzilla movie that's ever been made by far. And now I'm like wow. on a Godzilla high. So I watched the 2014 one again. It's still pretty terrible. I think everyone else loves it, but I got which, recommended which Shin Godzilla. Godzilla 2014 was the one with the uh, the Mudos or whatever, and they only show Godzilla for like two minutes of screen time. Oh, I don't remember that. There was one. some like nuclear meltdown, and then Godzilla comes and he he kicks some of this, and goes back out in the water like he does. Hmm. I thought it sucked, but the cast was loaded. Got a uh, 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 Elizabeth Olsen, Brian Cranston, Aaron oh, Taylor Johnson. Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, I got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. But I get to watch Shin Godzilla tonight, and I just went to Dollar General and got like a pizza, a Mountain Dew Voltage. I got baked Lay's. I'm I'm gonna be fucking living after this, man. Jesus Christ! It's supposed to be a really good one. Shin Godzilla was 2016, and it was another one that was actually made in Japan. So, authentic Godzilla. I haven't seen it. I've only I'm seen. Also, I've only seen the one from fucking. Uh, what was it? 90, 99? Um, the American one, or yeah. no? That was that was later. That was like twenty ten or something, wasn't it? No, it's it's still American. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Other than other than trying to watch a bunch of movies, man, I. I just got out of school at the time of recording this. I'm still like in college, but the semester's done, so been fucking around with the house. Painted the wall black. Painted some walls in the library black. Got some lights. At least eleven hundred lumens worth burning down on my face in my background right now, so you know, we out here balling. Ninety nine or nineteen ninety eight. Godzilla. The one that mm-hmm. everybody hated because it the they redesigned Godzilla and it doesn't look anything like he did originally and people fucking hated it but as a kid I loved it I thought it was cool so it's I think it's just a nostalgia thing for me but uh that Godzilla I've seen the Godzilla versus Kong <clears throat> and uh I feel like I've seen one other one. Oh, I've seen the original I've seen the original Godzilla from fucking forever ago I but I've only seen that once I don't know. I, n- I never got as into Godzilla as I did King Kong. So yeah, you gotta you gotta watch the new Godzilla. Actually, I gotta tell you this because I thought it was absolutely fucking hilarious. So uh, Maya, who we did have on the podcast for episode three, Red Flags. Uh, we all, her, I, my my buddy Jack and his friend, we all went to go watch minus one because he's a huge Jack is a huge Godzilla nerd, and. Maya, and this don't go and like attack her for this because she has not seen Godzilla before. Okay. She had no idea what he was before going into the theater. So like 10 minutes into the movie when they show Godzilla back in like 1945 at the end of World War II, a giant dinosaur in the darkness comes out and kills people and then goes back to doing his Godzilla thing. She leans over to me like 10 minutes in the movie and she's like, hey, uh, like I was really confused. I wasn't sure like when the big monkey was supposed to come out. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, cuz she, she thought Kong was Godzilla. Hell yeah. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, I lost it. I about pissed myself in the theater and she's like, "Don't tell Jack." And of course, my next move was to then relay the information <laughs> to Jack. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Be- Beautiful movie. I could talk about it for ages, but that's not what. That's not. This isn't the Godzilla episode. No, it's not. Nor is that's it. Next week. Nor is it from the crypt where we actually talk about movies, 
and uh, not icebreaker questions. So maybe you'll just have to cameo yeah. on there. You'll have to hey. guest guest on uh, uh, from the crypt. <laughs> I'd love it. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see if Derek's down. I'm I'm sure Derek would be down to do a Godzilla episode, like full Godzilla, not just minus one, but like he's probably into the whole entire Godzilla franchise. If I had to guess. Yeah, if y'all did Godzilla or like if you ever do a Saw episode, now that I'm caught up, I'd like to be in the loop on that. <laughs> um finally done with that shit ass series. I don't know about Saw, but okay. I, I do know we're we've got a Halloween episode coming up about the uh the newest Halloween trilogy and that's gonna be a doozy. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like Halloween as in the holiday. I was like, brother, that's that's been long gone for like months now. No, no, no. The 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 most recent trilogy, the 2018 through yeah halloween ends and i got some stuff to say about that one <laughs> i can't wait i'll tune in for that one for sure i'm gonna be a lot more uh or sorry a lot less forgiving than derek is i can promise you that <laughs> i believe it uh but anyway so today i was wondering that or i was wondering if you had ever had a, an instance where you were like man that cartoon character that I'm watching, that he's just like me or she. I'm not gonna judge. They're just like me. Yeah. Uh, the same, that I'm him moment. Yeah, you know, like oh man, that that me, that me on this on the screen right there. Um, so basically, that's the question: is uh, what are your what what is a cartoon character, a color, a cuisine, and a car that describes you or your personality? Holy shit, dude! We're gonna have to break this one down. I've already forgotten what you... cartoon character, color, cuisine, and a car. That's it. That's the one. Oh my goodness! So we'll start with cartoon character. Roll. Okay, good, because I don't know anything about cars. Um, Neither do man, I. Man, this would be. <laughs> I. I can't. It's hard to think of one, even though like my wife and I, we love to watch cartoons all the time, and I can always. I'll just throw her under the bus. Anytime, like, Winnie the Pooh does anything at all, <laughs> like, that's you. <laughs> Every time he does anything. Or uh, Mabel from Gravity Falls. We kind of have that same sort of that relationship that Mabel and her brother have. Uh, like, awkward sibling pat on the back, the, the camaraderie between the two. It... Hmm. <laughs> You got me stumped here, bro. <laughs> you want to come back to a cartoon character and, and do color first? N no, I want to. I want to sit on this and just just work it out. <laughs> Did you bring some reading material? <laughs> Dude, you ever like get asked a question and you like you, you're prepared for it and everything, and then they ask you the question and you just forget all knowledge you've ever had? <laughs> yeah, that was me on the red flag episode. Like I, I had like fifty thousand red flags ready to go, and we started talking about them, and I forgot all of them. <laughs> they all just like poof, out of existence, gone. Yeah, uh, um, I'm trying to think like relatable cartoons that I've I've watched recently. I I think if you've seen a regular show, yeah, probably someone like Rigby. I <laughs> wish I could be Mordecai, but. <laughs> Like, the small, scrappy dude. I'm not that lazy, but at the same time, like, I'm that dumb, I think. <laughs> I, would, I would create a rig juice. Actually, I haven't shown you. So, I have... I think they're finally healed now. So, I've got my cartoon sleeves started. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. And I've got, Bub, I've got Bubby there at the top. The blue sky whale. That's what... She, breed she is apparently they're not real figured that out too nice and i got my raccoon on a trampoline that's my rigby hell yeah yeah that's fucking awesome love that love so that. yeah maybe maybe rigby maybe this would be easier is there a cartoon character that i remind you of hmm off the top like of my peppermint butler maybe peppermint butler no i don't think i don't think you're evil enough to be peppermint butler I don't think you're more like Donnie. <laughs> Donnie beating up on little houses. I don't think you're obnoxious enough. I don't think you could produce that much obnoxygen. No. Honestly, no. 
Let's see. I think if I, I I'm just, I'm glad you went straight to Adventure Time because that was pretty much where I went. Uh, yeah, because I was gonna say you're pretty much Jake coded. <laughs> yeah, literally, I I to the, to the I core. wrote down Jake for my answer. By the way, <laughs> bad beans make the whatever broke, right? Dude, anything Jake says is pretty much just <laughs> me in a nutshell. That's bad TV's, parenting, Mama. <laughs> this is my favorite mug. Boom, gone. <laughs> Now out I of my life forever. Yeah, now I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Nah, dude, everything Jake says uh, or does is pretty much me. I love to eat. I love to eat a lot. Um, I'm hella, like, enthusiastic about most things, but I also can be lazy as shit a lot of the time <laughs> and not want to do anything whatsoever. And there's really no in-between, so. And my name's Jake. So, I mean, that is what it is. These are facts. It was just destined to be. And I'm a dog. Can't have you messing up my bread and butter, bro. <laughs> That's my bread and butter, friend. You can't be messing up my bread and butter. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say when I'm getting my ass beat one of these days. <laughs> I think I... it'll stop any fight. <laughs> if I didn't already have a GF, I'd want you to have my babies. What you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> dude's fucking wild, man. Whoa, that's yoga balls huge, dude. Yoga balls aren't I, yoga balls aren't really that huge, dude. I, I yeah, god damn it! I keep getting that stupid scene that's like just a little too dark when they go to the uh, the uh, was it the breakfast? King? No, I think it's like the Berry Kingdom or whatever the hell it is with all that that pool of money because they're gonna get taxed on it, so they decide to give it away. <laughs> and Jake just turns super dark and he's like, "Do stuff for us." <laughs> I think. Oh, I think you could be Farm World Finn. Farm World Finn? Yeah. Is that the one after the after the Lich King kind of like yeah, wipes? He's, he's got a pointy out. pointy nose and he's got the <laughs> he's got the ones that the the fucking posse of like <laughs> glam gang behind him or something is always like fucking shit up. Yeah. Yeah. You could be Farm World Finn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just the most bland thing that there could be. Either that or I could see also like I could see Marceline as well. I could see Marceline. Fuck with that. Yeah. I could see that. If I could just float across my house and let my hair down. And play bass. Drink red. <laughs> I That'd would be... love to do that too, to just fly around and fuck with people. Same. Plus, I've got, I've got daddy issues. <laughs> it all, it all works out. Did it all stem from him stealing your fries? Yeah. I'm you so... weren't even that good, man. They were cold. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so we'll go with Marceline, and uh, now you got to pick a color. Color, yep. Ray. <laughs> Dude, listen. Gray is my favorite color. No cap. Why gray? Why not black? Because there are like only a handful of shades of black, a handful of shades of white, but there's a shitload load of fine space between that. That's gray. Uh, between adding. Uh, other tints or shades to it and i think gray looks good with everything you will only i guess this is the one time i'm wearing like a navy blue shirt but you'll catch me wearing gray or black all the time same i think that matches my rbf too the somber tone yeah i'm almost someone tried always making a black. someone tried making a joke with me at work today and i just don't know how to talk to people at all uh something something cop related because i was being really quiet so i was like you're really quiet are you are you law enforcement or i'm like and i didn't change my tone or my face or anything i was just like well if you mean police and like a badge no but if you mean like do i enforce the law around these parts then yeah <laughs> <laughs> and she was just like oh i'm sorry did that did i like did i strike a nerve or something i'm like no, no you're you're fine it was a joke and, <laughs> it was a joke I'll, I'm not actually going to kill myself. I'll think about it. But... 
I just try to get as dark as possible. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, no, I um, I am almost always wearing black, and I also have a resting bitch face from hell, like, really bad. However, I also smile a lot when someone's talking to me if I'm, like, enjoying the conversation, so I think that's where you and I differ with our resting bitch faces. Is Mine'll, mine'll go away once I've, like, started a conversation. Assuming it's not a bad conversation, of course. Uh, but yours just kind of stays there. <laughs> I think you can really tell with me, too, how I'll put on an awkward smile to talk with people. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> not funny at all. <laughs> but meantime, I'll keep a totally straight face and be like, yeah, I am about to bust because that was actually really funny. <laughs> but I don't show any of it. Oh, Lord, about the bust. Yeah, you no. got a you got a color. I don't I don't know all the meanings of certain colors either. I think like blue or gold or courage. I know white's a purity thing. Definitely Black is white. death as always. Yeah. Well, each color has a lot of different meanings depending on what culture you're going from and what source you're looking at. So, it all depends on on that, but uh I picked orange because you can't rhyme anything with orange. Only half the people, only half the people that I know yes. that I've I've asked if they like the color orange say yes, and of those people, it's not their favorite color. <laughs> uh, it's my favorite. It's one of my favorite colors, and I think it's uh, it's a very nice earthy fall tone. And I'm just that's just me in a nutshell. I was really hoping you'd keep with the because the first half of that description, you're like. This is what people think of orange, and I and I relate to that. <laughs> I like that. That's true, I though. I think that kind of goes for both of our colors. I think people think... If you say gray, anytime I tell people my favorite color is gray, they're immediately like, oh, because you're a sad little bitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're just an angry, angry person with short man syndrome. That's what you are. That's why you like gray. I can't just enjoy it because it's a good color. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not huge on gray, but I like black. Black's my other big one. I mean, I like black a lot, so. Don't catch me in anything other than black skinny jeans on any day of the week. I'm wearing gray sweats, but I always wear gray sweats. So, I don't know. However, if these came in black, I'd probably be wearing black sweats instead. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do monochromatic stuff. If I had a black shirt on, I couldn't do black pants. My jeans are black. My shirts are black. My hoodies are black. My glasses are black. My hat is black. Yeah. <laughs> I know. When I tried to draw you for the uh, for the cover for this this whole podcast thing. Oh, my shoes. I, yep. <laughs> every every part of it, I was like, oh, he's just a black mass. I was like, he's got a he's always wearing a black hoodie that he likes i know he's got a black hat i always see him in black maybe like grayish jeans and he's always got those fucking like black boot shoes on black socks black and boxers just, and i just drew you and you ended up looking like a sack with a beard and willow's my dog's black <laughs> yeah my headset's black my computer I had, my computer's man, black I miss, I miss my black headphones the white ones are okay but well it's got orange in it too it's got orange in it too but it's also mostly black my curtains are black i can't i i shouldn't say i can't believe you like orange because that's the dickhead thing that i get for saying gray but like i don't know i don't i don't like orange honestly it's so bright <laughs> and, and pumpkiny <laughs> that's i love i i like pumpkins because it's it reminds me of fall when you like, say I orange like my my first thought is pumpkin i guess i don't like a whole lot of bright colors like yellow is really hard to look at for me. I, I don't like red at all. Red's probably my least favorite. I think orange and yellow are pretty much the only two like more vibrant colors that I like. Most of my other favorite colors are like really dark shades of green and purple and shit. And I don't know. But orange, oh, I fuck cool. with orange a lot, so it is what it is. All right. Cuisine. Oh, dude. <laughs> you already know plain saltine. Saltine crackers. <laughs> That's a really... I'm trying to think of a... 
Only problem with maybe that answer it, is it's not a cuisine. It's just a. It's just. I mean, I guess it could be a cuisine, but I wouldn't eat saltines as a meal. What's a meal that's really off-putting to look at, but once you actually get a taste of it, you're like, hey, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> that's that's me, I think. I would say I would say meatloaf, but I'm not a fan of meatloaf either. Because so. <laughs> meatloaf looks fucking awful, but apparently some people think it tastes good. I'm not one of those people, but... I, I can't know. honestly think of a food I've tried that looks really bad and ends up tasting really good because it's always been the opposite for me if i see something that looks bad i usually don't even bother trying it especially if it smells bad too <laughs> like oh those thinking. little those little uh chicken or tuna pouches <laughs> those... <laughs> the the 50 percent less sodium ones <laughs> hey those are those are good shut up or, oh, the ones in... Have you tried the ones in the sunflower oil? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're good. Yes, I've they're tried... So great. I've tried just about all of them. But would you be the tuna or would you be the chicken? Oh, tuna. The chicken is dastardly. <laughs> That's not actual chicken. Dude, it all tastes like... It all tastes like cat food to me, so... I picked up some of the Great Value salmon packets recently to try, and those were actually... That's it. I am great value salmon packet. <laughs> I think a cuisine that describes me, because I was expecting very little from it. I wasn't even expecting it to taste like fish, and it was actually just like a hint better than the tuna. And it was the Dora brand. It wasn't even hmm. the Starkist or whatever that, that brand is. I don't think I've had the tuna one, or the salmon ones. Hey, you slap that baby on a tortilla or mix it in with a. One of those instant rice bowls pretty good yeah that's what i like to do i I like to get the chicken ones and mix it in with rice and it's not something that's like it's not something that's like wow i would eat this all the time if i could it's just something like wow yeah that was actually pretty good i'll maybe i'll revisit that later (laughs) i think that's a good a good way to that's going in the capitalize (laughs) on my personality that's going in the vault (laughs) gone (laughs) jesus Oh, How about man. you, meatloaf boy? I put, dude, I put full send into pizza, because pizza describes you. Pizza's fun as shit. Everybody mm. likes pizza. However, there's always that one pizza that everyone fucking hates, and it's usually pineapple pizza. But I know people <laughs> that fucking hate supreme pizza. I know people that hate like taco pizza. I know people that hate meat lovers pizza. But overall, it's just generally a a very well loved fun food that's also absolutely fucking terrible for you it's just disgustingly bad for you and that's just me because i'm really fun and exciting to be around but i'm fucking awful for people i'm absolutely unhealthy as hell i think of like a a creatively ambitious food that tries too hard does too much (laughs) What's a food that really loves its dog and nothing else? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is um, there a, um, oh, I got, uh, oh, what's that called when you mix a shitload of sodas together? Suicide? Yeah. Su- <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're a Mountain Dew suicide. <laughs> That's a cuisine, right? Sure. I'm all the flavors of Mountain Dew put into one. You got it you got to be made up of at least like 10% of them right now, yeah. 10% caffeine, 10% sugar, and the rest of it is pure rage. Pure orange rage. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> I'm pizza flavored Mountain Dew. Oh fuck. <laughs> I wish that I was a food that's trying specific. too hard. I can't give you a specific flavor, but I think you're, uh, I think you're like Pringles, where, or Lay's. Yeah, maybe Lay's. Lay's is like a top seller. Everyone enjoys it, but they're always coming out with new flavors that no one fucking asked for. (laughs) (laughs) Just trying to see if something (laughs) sticks. Pringles has done the same thing. I do. I fuck with Pringles. I fuck with Pringles as well. 
I'm the I'm the ranch. <laughs> you a Pringles guy or a uh, Stacks guy? Pringles, dude, all the way. No, you're wrong. No, them ranch them ranch Pringles, those hit different, dude. Oh, what the fuck did you just say? The Shut ranch up. the ranch Pringles and the pizza Pringles. Whoa, I'm the pizza Pringles. I'm the oh pizza Pringles, dude. That's what I am. Does, does anyone but you like the? Actually, that makes that makes sense. No one but you likes the pizza Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> that, w- that wouldn't surprise me, but dude, I fuck with the pizza Pringles. I actually have some in my cabinet right now. I'm thinking about going to grab them, but <laughs> yeah, they're so good. How do you not like the pizza Pringles? I don't like those super extra. I I call it extra, as in like they're going too hard into something kind of flavors of Pringles. I don't like care for Pringles all that much because they're really thin and just they're more crispy when i want a more crunch and i get more of that out of stacks how, how did we not end up using the pizza pringles somewhere in the pizza verse when we made it i have no idea how did we end up having everybody in the shot reflecting from my car and shadows all about oh yeah oh. i saw it too <laughs> you, saw, you, saw, you see that yeah <laughs> we'll get back to that. All right, so pizza Pringles, great value salmon packets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gray. Jesus Christ. In orange. Marceline, Jake. I'm still like in farm fin or whatever the hell you call them. More. Farm farm fin, uh, farm world fin. Okay, I I fuck farm with that. I think fin. farm world fin is is perfectly valid. Um, or fern fern would Maybe be cool fern. we gotta we gotta revisit the cartoon character for sure i think fern might be a better pick i wasn't even thinking about fern yeah i love fern um he's like the pinocchio of adventure time <laughs> he's a fucking liar <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, he's trying to be a real boy oh can i be um, the horse that Ice King dressed as the horse <laughs> buying on Finn and Jake. I don't think you're scary enough. That thing was terrifying. Oh, man, this thing's got poo brain. Fucking <laughs> 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 kicks it. Dude, that horse was fucking terrifying. Like, absolutely terrifying. That's probably my favorite episode of Adventure Time, I'm not going to lie. Got me really? gaffing every time, yeah. I don't know what my favorite episode would be. That's that's a hard one. I've I like a lot of the Adventure Time episodes, like a lot of them. I I really like that one, and I I don't know why I always come back to it, but the City of Thieves. City of Thieves is a really is fun one to watch. I always like the fucking um, the maze, the labyrinth episode, stretch too thin, yeah, or whatever. Or Do gone too you guys far. Want to say my name three times. Jake, 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 Jake. Yeah. I want to blow up. I mean, like, get big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, that whole that whole episode is it's just fucking gold. But uh, that one and the Ocean of Fear are, like, at the top that of the list. That one is always good, yeah. The Ocean of Fear is always good. Um, dude, there's just so many. There's so many awesome ones. I I just love Adventure Time so much. It's a very great show. It is. The whole... I like, I like all of it. Don't get me wrong, but dude, the first three seasons are just like, fucking S tier, cartoons. Yeah. Like S tier cartoons, hands down. All three seasons, the first four, three seasons or whatever, maxed out. Love them. I think when they started doing parts, for episodes, that's when I was kind of like, I'm not as into this anymore. Of course, it's still Adventure Time, and I want as much of it as I can get. But yeah. Like with the uh, the Marceline, she's living in that house, and they got to fight the vampires off like that. I was like, I, I don't it started, care as much. It also started getting like really serious. Like it did. It started every getting cartoon, really serious. I was like, God damn, dude! Not only every cartoon, every show I think ends up doing this. Where at least in comedies, they just have like bullshitting around all the time. And then they start, like, like they'll drop a few story things here and there early on, not much at all, 
and then they'll just drive into it as hard as they can for like the last couple of seasons, make it only about the story and progress so that they can end it. Yeah. And it, it almost, I think it fails every time. Wilfred ended really well, but like, I, uh, I don't, I don't know any others that do. Adventure, Adventure Time did. I mean, Adventure Time was great. I thought, I thought the whole, the whole show was great, but I just did not like it as much as I did the first three seasons. Is all. Yeah. I still, I still like what they did with it, and I still like the story that they told. But at the end of the day, like, I would much rather just have the one-off episodes of Finn and Jake doing some fucking just absolute fuck shit for no some reason. Nonsense. Yeah. Like just uh, have Jake going off into an ice cream eating contest and cutting little piggies out of bean pods. Yeah, like that's the that's like the that. shit that I like. <laughs> Oh, the Tart Toter episode is probably my favorite, actually. Really? The Tart Toter episode is just, like, full of some of my favorite scenes <laughs> in Adventure Time ever. As Oh, wait, Death in Bloom as well. First time they go see Death because they fuck up that, yeah. they kill that flower plant. He's like, no, God. dude, the morrow is her bird. <laughs> <laughs> the morrow is a bird. <laughs> They're trying to peel me. I'm not a banana. <laughs> oh, if Jake farts and it echoes throughout the caverns. I thought it would be funny. <laughs> I thought it would be funny. Yeah, dude, I love that. That whole episode is just solid gold all around. Don't drink the water. See, that means it's good. <laughs> Jake's the musical hey. one, and he's got poo brain. <laughs> <laughs> it gives him one of those. <laughs> oh, skeleton guy. Skeleton guy by a landslide. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, it's so good. I'm pretty sure that uh, I, my song In Bloom that was made with that episode, um, I'm pretty sure that's my most listened to Adventure Time song. That's on, nice. On Spotify. Mine, uh, I don't know why, but... Francis Forever, the uh, the best I can be, is getting more traction than I would have liked it to. Right now, everybody's only listening to my um, Rest rest Traveler, which is very odd. That's very That's odd. That's the, uh, the, the ambient one, right? Or yeah, it's like... One of the uh, ambient albums? Yeah, it's got a lot of, like, chiptune-style video game ambient sound and shit. People like that, though. They like that kind of background noise when they're doing shit. I know people that like to put on stuff like that when they're uh, doing D&D campaigns, so. Yeah. I, Maybe um, someone found that. Some, I mean, it's got good searchability, too. Yeah, that's true. So, a car. I ain't complaining. But, yeah, car, go ahead. What you got? You're, oh, I was going to immediately just target you and be like, your broken car that's probably still in Iowa that didn't move for... I'm pretty sure. That you, pretty sure my parents sold it. <laughs> you pulled it out of the shop, broken. Still. Yeah, it worked for like three days, <laughs> and then it broke. It just stopped again. Uh, I would actually take that as a as a compliment because it still is a very pretty car. <laughs> well, it was before I busted the fucking grill of it and everything, but it's a Cadillac, dude. But there ain't no way I'm as classy as a Cadillac. There's no way. <laughs> Not happening. Man, I yeah, I don't know anything about cars or trucks for that matter. I think I would be, be a old, to I'd be a Toyota Camry. I'm a big old Ford F one fifty, I think, you know? I can see that. <laughs> I'm I'm the uh, the Tesla Cybertruck. <laughs> Please don't. No, I'm definitely a Toyota Camry. I'm I'm not I'm not a car. I'm I'm everybody's first car because it's reliable as shit. It never breaks down. It just can it just continues to go no matter how many times it's fucking been in a wreck or been totaled, and they look pretty plain. There's nothing fancy about them. They don't look crazy and spectacular and shit. And I'd be a black one, of course, because that's all I wear is black. Mm. You're gonna have to help me out with this one. I don't. I don't know. Mm. I mean. I don't think my car reflects my personality all that much. Uh, I've got a really like super basic four door sedan, Chevy Cruze. Everyone's got a Chevy Cruze, but they're a shit car. 
they're just pretty much entirely plastic and everything breaks on them immediately when you get them out of the factory. Let's see. Maybe a Ford Taurus. A white Ford Taurus. All right, yeah. <laughs> I would have gotten something like that had I not gotten the another cruise. Yeah, that about sums it up. The white Ford Taurus is Peyton. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it to focus. Ah, there it is. Ah, my light keeps oh, on. Oh, go on. Yeah. For listeners at home, I'm not going to be able to describe that to you. It's like a really, I don't want to say it's a really shitty car, but it's like, you would, you could, you would be pretty grateful, I think, if that was your first car in high school. I'd yeah. say you got, you got, you got a good get around car that's not super shitty and it's not something state of the art either. It's just a, it's just a car. <laughs> <laughs> that's me i'm just a car i'm just i'm just ken <laughs> oh can i be does ken have a car i can't be as good as the barbie Dreamhouse car but like i don't know ken had a... i don't remember i don't remember what his car was if he had one ken's car barbie is there a car that breaks down way more than any other? <laughs> and it absolutely doesn't need to? Uh, Chevy Cobalt. Oh. I had a really ha hard time with a Chevy Cobalt for a while. <laughs> so I got one because I also had problems with this car. I, actually, my uh, my 91 Oldsmobile uh, Cutlass was better than... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not better than. But my Pontiac Grand Prix, that car sucked. My mom... <laughs> was like obsessed with Pontiac saying that they're like the best car and there's a reason that Pontiac doesn't make cars anymore <laughs> because they fucking suck they're not Yikes. that great the the body will last a long time I think I don't know the motor's all that good you probably get like you can probably push for 250,000 miles max in one of those cars <laughs> so I'd say I'd say something like that Maybe. Nice. Well, it's just a total piece of shit that needs to be discontinued. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Just a total piece of shit that needs to be discontinued. <laughs> yep. Okay, Something so... that if it didn't have an air fryer, it wouldn't function. <laughs> Um, okay, so whatever that car would be, I'm still going Toyota Camry for me. Pizza Pringles. I'll, I'll, I'll go Pontiac Grand Prix. Pontiac Grand Prix and a Toyota Camry. Pizza Pringles and Great Value Salmon Packets. Great Value Salmon Packet. <laughs> Orange and gray. And uh, Jake the Dog and... Uh, and Fern. Fern. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how much... How much time do we have left on this episode? Because we should just we should just explore more cartoon characters. We're only at thirty eight minutes right now. Oh fuck! All right, let's just start quoting Adventure Time more. <laughs> People um, are loving it. They're eating it up. This is the banger episode. Let's see. Uh... I can always look to my wall of pops. Yeah. Never mind. Not a whole lot there. <laughs> Now go get me some princess hair before your friend here gets sucked into my bottomless bottom. <laughs> Yikes. Finn! Go get that, that princess hair! That witch is, the witch is Giat. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> Arazimafu! Hey, good song. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> courage. Courage is a cowardly dog. Maybe. I, I, I think I could be a good courage. I think when I've when I have to save the day, I might step in just because I have to, out of love, because the the very seldom love I do feel is pretty strong. <laughs> the things but, I do for love. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Uh, now I'm more of a Muriel. use case. I'd, I'd watch that show and I'd be like, man, I, I steal a lot of my self courage and someone else would be like, no, you're used to this. <laughs> Stupid dog. Stupid, Stupid dog, dog, you made me look bad. You made me look bad. Booga, booga, booga. Yeah, dude, I fucking... You know I got that dog on me. <laughs> you know I got that dog in me. Oh, I can't wait for mine. Dude, I fucking love courage so much. He's mine so might good. be in my next session. I know I'm going to be doing like a... Um, more of I think I already told you, but more of a fan art style pinup girl of Candy Wife. Also <laughs> yeah. with the with the Bubby. Hell It'll be yeah. probably like like right in here or something. Yeah, and then behind yeah, that, yeah. I'm gonna have the uh, I'm gonna have the love or no, I'm gonna have the mom tattoo, but it's gonna say Muriel. Hell yeah! On it. I remember. Yeah, I remember you telling me that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Um, what's the you oh. uh you could be the you'd be the return the slab guy. No, I'd if be you were in, if you were in that universe. I'd be Doctor Barber, from Flapjack. Oh, eesh. hey Flapjack. Yeah, you would. Do you need a haircut or surgery? <laughs> Doctor Barber's fucking creepy. Either that or Lollipoop Dick. Man, I fucked with Lollipoop Dick. I love that clip where. Uh... It's Captain Knuckles just yelling at that dog, and then the dog does the backflip, and it does that really gross <laughs> zoom in on him. He's like, Ooh. "Jesus, I would Find make do that thing that you do all day, every day." I definitely would not be the slap guy, you asshole. <laughs> no, you would. Nah, I'd be um. I'd oh, be, I'd be you'd Muriel. Be the... So this, <laughs> I thought you were banging Muriel. What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> hey that's a different episode yeah <laughs> we don't have so, to talk about that <laughs> the episode i know the slab thing scares it scared a lot of people in their childhood the thing that scared me the most was when they had to dress up as bananas and then under in the sewers there was that big monkey that was peeling the banana citizens oh, eating them. yeah <laughs> i think it be the big monkey <laughs> do you remember that episode where eustace got turned into a foot yeah <laughs> And Courage had to put the you toad fungusy, right? Yeah, Courage had to put the toe jam pus shit into the computer and get it analyzed what? and stuff. <laughs> I was like, man, so what nasty. is what the fuck is this show? <laughs> All the villains in that show look like Crash Bandicoot bosses. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let me see. The uh, Barracuda in the bathtub was always fucking weird. Cowardly a lot of that show that's just kind of villains, not for audiences of any age. <laughs> oh, there's a whole tier list. Jesus Christ. Oh, goody. Oh yeah, that weird like. Oh wait a minute, that's that's one that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Which um, one? It was like a. Hang on, let me. Let me find a picture of him, because... Well, this is not the one I was thinking of, but this is this is one that definitely was like, what the hell am I even watching? Oh, yeah, that thing. But that's not, that's not the one I was talking about. Uh, this one right here... The, the zombie dude. I don't know why, but he always terrified the shit out of was me. Was that the... Was that the... No, that wasn't the pilot, was it? That ate the sludge to stay alive? No, that was someone else. That dude was like 105. But he was just... Oh my god, dude. The doctor. The doctor with like the mustache and the little beard and shit. That guy scared the shit out of me, dude. His little beady red eyes. <laughs> How'd they let kids watch this they just don't make cart Ooh, have you seen total drama um and any of it total drama island total drama action that guy oh that fucking creep that looks like you shut the looks fuck like up if, looks like if you and your dad had a kid <laughs> ew stop <laughs> his little fucking uh. red eyes ugh that's the dude. That shit scared the shit out of me when I was little. Or it was it was Eustace's? No, it's not Eustace's doctor. That's somebody else. 
Eustace has got the regular looking doctor. Well, as regular as he can be. But anyway, what about Total Drama? Have you seen it? I've probably seen like bits and pieces of it, but I didn't Man, care for it. It's like animated Survivor, except it's so much better. I don't know. I, I, I don't think I've seen a lot of it. Not enough to know any of the characters or anything. But I'm sad because could we could have casted each other for that for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know any of the characters well enough to do that. I don't know why I'm I'm just forgetting every cartoon I've ever seen. See, codename Kids Next Door. Hell yeah, dude! I'm number right. uh, number four, right? The yeah, kid, the orange think? kid of the orange. Yeah, rating. that's yeah, that's number four. Number four. I think I'd have to be one of the the friendly. What's what are the kids? The other one, the enemies. What are their names? The the neighbor kids. Um. I think it might be uh, something children. Let's see. I tried rewatching that show recently and it, it did not land well. It's just all over the place. I don't know why I enjoyed it so much as a kid. The Delightful Children? The Delightful Children. I think I fall in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, probably number four's counterpart. That little yeah. fucking weasel dude. Uh, yeah, I love that dude. God. That's horrifying. Why are they so creepy? My favorite episode of Codename Kids Next Door was the one where they did, like, all the different animations for each number. They did, like, a different animation style. There's one that was, like, CG and then one that was, like, hand-drawn. Oh, I couldn't tell you, man. It's been so long dude. since I've seen... I don't, I don't think I even, like, scraped the barrel with watching every episode of that. That episode, if you get a chance to watch it, was super fucking cool. And um, the episode where they are, I think it's number five, was going to taste the, the, uh, the last ice cream flavor, or the, the, ultimate or secret ice cream flavor or something and she had to go through the all these trials and shit and she got there and it was like this golden ice cream and everything was like everything pretty much fell apart but at the last minute she was able to taste like the last little bit of it that was left as she left the fucking chaos or whatever awesome. but th those were definitely my two favorite episodes yeah, when I went through and started rewatching the first few episodes of that I was like wow, my wife is number 3. <laughs> everything about her number three yeah. huh with Damn. yeah with the stuff the stuffed animals and the oversized hoodie. i mean she's a squishmallow girl so yeah i feel that no i'm in trouble oof <laughs> oof oh uh, chowder chowder hits different that's a good show i i never got into chowder i tried rewatching it with my wife and we were both watching it and i was like this isn't as good as i remember but then i started watching it on my own and i was seeing some of the the clips of uh uh just the funniest stuff from the show that's completely out of pocket and it was it was fucking great i don't know if i sent you any of it but there's bits where like mung doll is dressed up as a woman trying to get these uh these gumballs back from chowder or whatever because he's selling them and he shouldn't be and uh he's like well won't you give them to a pretty lady for free and he's like yeah do you know one He's like, okay, well, how about an ugly lady? And he's like, no, ugly ladies have to pay. <laughs> they do that a lot. There's like a lot of like That's really fucked. messed up, sexist. I hate my marriage, boomer humor in there. Yeah, I. That's not even the reason I never liked it because at that at the time of it coming out, I was too young to even get any of that shit, so I, I wouldn't have cared. But I seen part of an episode, like within the last two years sometime it, it had to have been within that time frame as an adult and i can tell you right now a good majority of the reason i probably never got into it is because chowder is annoying as fuck like yeah i know that's his character but even as a viewer he was annoying to me and i was just like dude i i cannot fucking watch this <laughs> i will well, go i'm gonna insane. tell you right now you're kimchi from kimchi. that show yeah kimchi is chowder's pet fart cloud <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't say anything. He just goes like all the time. 
Thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah, hangs out in a cage. <laughs> I'm taking schnitzel. I'm definitely schnitzel. Is that the Raga Fraga guy? <laughs> Raga Fraga, yeah, that's him. Okay. He yeah. says Rada Rada. Rada Rada, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's all he says. Yeah. Deadpan I can see that. all the time. I could see that. Um Hmm. What about uh what about Powerpuff Girls? I didn't watch it. Fuck. A couple episodes maybe. It was the same thing with uh uh how was it House of, of Imaginary Friends or for Imaginary Friends? What was Foster, that called? Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Foster's Home, yeah. I never watched enough of that to know anything about the show. Well, I would in Foster's I would definitely be Eduardo or Blue. There is no in between. Eduardo's Eduardo the red one with one arm, right? The basketball player? No, Eduardo's the... Unless I'm... Hang on, let me, let me make sure. <laughs> it's been a while. Because I know him, I know the No, sister. Eduardo's the big uh, bull guy with the horns. Oh, yeah. And the, yeah, and the skull belt. <laughs> uh, and then Blue is the main character. There's the blue, like, shape. Yeah, I know Blue. And he's a fucking asshole to everybody. <laughs> Uh, but Who would I be? Would I be blue or like maybe I'm more like that bird that doesn't Coco just fucking annoying. No, yeah, Coco. I don't think you'd be Coco. I think you might be um Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> this oh, is a man. rabbit hole. Jesus Christ. I could see you being the dude with the red arm, but I but I'm like forgetting his name. Wilt. Wilt. Yeah. I could see you being Wilt because he's he's sort of like he's just your average guy, you know? <laughs> That's just it. <laughs> Do I have no personality whatsoever? Am I just Dude, the, whatever so, the most average character is? So much so that he's even just got a number one on his chest. I thought he only had one arm. Yeah, he does. That was just a stupid fan made thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Is he a, his eyes yeah, bugging he's a, out he's a like dressed as a basketball player isn't he yeah uh yeah i'm trying to it's not working but anyway. no i got you i feel i feel it viewers won't understand but i got you <laughs> oh man what was the other show oh powerpuff girls powerpuff girls i want to be mojo jojo yeah so fucking bad he is just He's is he G. the main villain, the the, the green He's creature? He's the, the fucking monkey with the, uh, the big hat thing. I think you would definitely be one of the... Uh, one of the fucking... Um, Dude, I'd be the green, the green one, the green Powerpuff Girl. Um, not Blossom. She's... Uh, Buttercup? Buttercup. Who the fuck? I think Buttercup is the green one, Who's yeah. Buttercup. Is it I know Bubbles is the blue one. Yeah, butter butter or bubble butter. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbles is the blue one. Blossom, I think, is the red one. And I'm pretty sure Buttercup is the green one. So you'd probably be Buttercup, yeah. Yeah. I would one hundred percent be if I had if I was one of the three Powerpuff girls, I'd be Blossom for sure. Cause I sure as fuck would hey, know your... goddamn bubbles. All right, what's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite My Little Pony? Yeah, you got me on that one. Which bud. My Little? Pony? I don't. I don't know I, anything about My Little Pony. Like honestly, I don't either. But truthfully, I do not. If anyone ever asks me, I'm like I'm Applejack all the way. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know which one that is. So, like, I think she's like orangish or tannish, and she's got the cowboy hat. <laughs> Just my favorite one. <laughs> You heard it first, guys. Uh, Peyton is a fucking brony. I don't give a fuck about Rainbow Dash or no Twilight Sparkle. Not into it. Applejack, though? <laughs> S-tier <-S> pony. <laughs> this is confirmation because you, you already you already pretty much hinted at being a brony on the pizza first. Now you just full sent no, into you madness. Ask. Man. I've got a minor in cryptozoology, bro. <laughs> Let me vibe. <laughs> 
<laughs> Are there any animated uh, animals that you, you feel like you just absolutely relate with besides Jake the dog? I was going to say, Jake is an animal. Um... Can the sheets. <laughs> just kidding. Ah, oh, fuck. Animated animals, fr- like from a show? Yeah, uh, for a show or a movie. There's a lot in Disney if you want to just start uh, rocket. Like, thinking through those. Rocket Raccoon? Yeah. Rocket Raccoon, 100%. CGI is not animated. Yes, it is. It is animation. Not, it's a type of animation. Not, no, not like that. I mean like a cartoon one. 2D animated movies. <laughs> Uh, the Iron Giant. <laughs> I want to see that movie so bad. You've never I seen, seen it. You've never no. seen the Iron Giant? No, I want to. I need to. Dude, that's a classic, man. I know. The Iron Giant is a fucking classic. classic. I need to watch. Oh, dude, uh, Morph from Treasure Planet. Also, haven't seen that one. Oh. It looks fucking great. We watched Dude. Atlantis recently instead of watching Treasure Planet. Nah, big mistake. I like I like Atlantis, but Treasure Planet's so much better. I'm also a fucking big pirate fan, so obviously that's neither here nor there. But Morph is the little pink blob in Treasure Planet whenever you get around to watching it. Okay. But Treasure I Planet's fucking awesome. Like, w- completely underrated movie. Man, I had a... I had one. Oh yeah, you're um. Have you seen, you? I don't know if you've seen Valiant Pigeon, but the the pigeon that Ricky Gervais plays. What the I think that's you. What's it called? Valiant Pigeon. Had a uh, Ricky Gervais, um, uh, fucking Obi Wan Kenobi. Can't think of his name. A one McGregor. Yeah. I used to think that movie was fucking awesome as a kid, and it's uh, it's pretty bad. Wait, which which person played my pigeon? Uh, Ricky Gervais. Bugsy. <laughs> yeah, Bugsy. Bugsy's this. Uh, <laughs> I'm just shitting on you at this point, but he's this filthy homeless pigeon that's like trying to con everybody else into doing stuff and. He wants to get out of work, and he ends up being, like, the hero in the end. Yeah, that's my boy. It's uncanny. Stop. Ugh. That's fucked. Oh, um... O'Malley from, uh... Aristocats. Aristocats was an interesting one. I thought the movie was pretty bland, but I love cats, and... Dude, Arrested... Arrested Cats was like my jam when I fucking first watched it. I watched a lot. I watched it a lot actually when I was a kid, dude. I watched the shit out of that movie. But O'Malley from <laughs> Arrested Cats. Oh no no no! Fucking um, the mouse. Uh, the fuck was the mouse's name? I'm I'm drawing so you got many this blanks. More than I ever could. I don't remember any of the cats' names from that. O'Malley was the uh, the man cat the orange one the orange yeah alley cat yeah tom cat i guess yeah aristocats the mouse's name was uh actually i do vibe with garfield pretty stop hard, as you know i almost got some garfield socks the other day i think i'm gonna go back for them eventually but man they're awesome man what the hell Drawing a blank there. Something? Toulouse. No, that's not Toulouse. Toulouse is the other kid. The other kid, cat. Fuck. <laughs> Aristocats. Mouse. The cast of Aristocats. Rockerford. Why did I not realize his name was Rockerford, actually? <laughs> I was thinking I no it was idea. way shorter than that. Yeah, Rockerford, for sure. Love him. Love him in his big-ass cracker that he dips in that uh, creme de la creme a la Edgar. 
soup shit I, or whatever the cream. <laughs> you know, I think I could, I could also see you as a uh, ratatouille. Uh, Remy. <laughs> no, like uh, that's his name, right? Ratatouille, or is it no Re Remy? The main is his character's name. name? Remy. Oh his shit! Name. Why is it? Why is it called ratatouille? Because I've seen a, this movie. Ratatouille's the famous dish. Oh. And it just happens to have the word rat in it. And then it's also the dish that uh, they cook for the the judge at the very end or the critic at the very end. And he, like, falls in love with it because it reminds him of his mom's ratatouille that she made. It used to be a peasant peasant's dish or whatever, but Remy made it so fucking well that it won over the heart of the critic. That's something you would do. I, Dude, I fucking love ratatouille so much. I also just it's picture It's one of my you, favorite movies. When you... When you when you talk about the your hot dogs that you make, I can also picture that you grabbing like grabbing a wiener and then <laughs> any other food that's not supposed to go on a hot dog <laughs> and just mixing the two together. Yeah, I, I fuck with that. I'll take that. Remy from Ratatouille. It me. <laughs> it me. That you. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Want to diss on me a little bit? Um, let's see. What are some cartoons that you've seen? Ed, Ed and Eddie. <laughs> Ed, Ed and Eddie, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Let me let me pull up a cast. Plank. Let me, let me pick up. Yeah. <laughs> Ed boy. <laughs> yeah, you'd be Plank for sure. Uh, I like I like Ralph a lot, but I I couldn't be him. You'd never be Ralph ever in a million. I'll never years. be him. I would also never be Ralph if that helps, but like <laughs> you definitely would not be Ralph. There's no way. Who's the kid that had Plank? Johnny. Johnny. Right. John, yeah. 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 You'd be you'd be Plank. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say I'd be Johnny. I was just say like, yeah, that fits. I'm always kind of like crying. And needing someone to come and help me out of it because I'm getting bullied. Yeah, but you don't always get your head stuck in trees like that. Yeah, his sister Sarah was actually like kind of scary. Or was no, it no, his no, sister not... or was it Ed's sister? It's Ed's sister, but she's always hanging out with um, the kid with the braces. I'm talking about Johnny, the big bald headed one. Oh, okay. I'm never mind. I'm thinking of the yeah that kid that's always crying with the blue shirt and the puffy blonde hair. Uh, that is... Fuck this. Why am I drawing a blank? Jimmy. Jimmy. Johnny's fucking weird. Johnny's the... Yeah, the kid with Plank. Uh, Jimmy's the kid with the braces. Eddie's the short one. Double D is the one with the hat. And, uh... Ed is the dumb one. I'd be... Dude, I'd be Ed full send. You Just think? Straight up dumb as fuck nerdy is all hell for absolutely no reason yeah i love it when he eats his bed that episode when he's I got eating a, everything in his room i got a chicken eddie i got a chicken eddie oh double d lee may and who's the other canker oh, the trailer sister. girls or whatever they're Canker Sisters? Is that yeah. what they're called? Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, Marie. Marie, Lee, and May. Canker. Kevin is the douche one. Um, Sarah is the one that's always hanging out with Jimmy. Rolf is obviously our hero. I forgot about that. And that Naz is the blonde kid. one. What's the, the kid with the... Kevin. One more time. Kevin? Yeah. Thought so. Yeah. Kevin, always Kevin's the one with the douchebag, yeah. Love that guy. <laughs> yeah, you might be Kevin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh man, Dude, okay. This whole time can you imagine a show that's they take that exact show but they they make it more relevant to like the grind set where instead of selling out for jawbreakers and coming up with their schemes they're actually like selling houses and renting out places all this other stupid shit that people on tiktok say make you money 
<laughs> they're just getting passive income because they own every house on the cul-de-sac. Yeah. Dude, my favorite Eddie and Epi- Eddie episode. Whoa, let me slow down. My favorite, <laughs> the EpiPen. <laughs> my favorite Ed, Ed, and Eddie episode was the one where they had that big, like, that big city made of all the boxes. Yeah. Do you remember that one? I think I do. That one I and... vaguely remember. I remember Ed, Ed, and Eddie as one episode. <laughs> That's how I remember. <laughs> just taking bits and pieces. Uh, the one where everybody disappears as well. I don't remember who is looking for everybody, but the one where it's only one character, they've, they're looking for everybody, and everybody else is just fucking gone, and it's just a desolate wasteland, and they're like, I'm pretty sure it's Ed, that's looking for everybody, but I, I don't remember, but that that episode was actually kind of scary. (laughs) Have you heard the theory that they're all in purgatory? Yeah, yeah. The you believe that? I checks out to me. There's a lot of fucked up theories about those old shows. Dexter's Laboratory, Courage Cowardly Dog. Uh, I never saw Dexter's Lab. I don't think I ever saw one episode of Dexter's Lab. You'd definitely be Dexter. Yeah. Yeah, I would be his sister for sure. Annoying as fuck. And you're just a stuck oh. up nerd piece of shit that's always being an <laughs> asshole to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Fairly odd parents. Oh, okay. That. Fairly odd parents. You'd be Timmy. I'd, <laughs> dude, I'd be Vicky. Are you shouldn't be. No. You would not I'd be, be Vicky. I'd be Doug Jesus Christ. I think I'd be Cosmo. Actually, you, you Cosmo? Yeah, I think I'd be Cosmo. I would only be Timmy if it was like Drake Bell. Live action <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't want that heat. Yeah, you don't want that heat at all. I don't need those allegations in my life. I think... You don't think I'd be like Jargon Von Strangle? No. Or the Crimson Chin? <laughs> Maybe Cleft the Boy Chin Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say it out loud, but you know when they were all like superheroed up and uh, the the dark version of crimson chin comes in uh dark laser no not dark laser yeah i know what you're talking about yeah yeah i don't I, remember what they called I, him but fuck, yeah you don't remember what they called him no so it's like negative chin but without the ativ on it so there's just a clip of dr crocker saying it out loud and it says like it sounds like he's saying the n-word what yeah no way. Yeah, you gotta see. I mean, he's saying the nega chin. Oh, the that's... nega chin. Oh, yeah. I when see. he comes okay, out, okay. So no, I do that, remember that. That okay. clip's been circulating around forever. My favorite episode of that, for God knows what reason, is when Doctor or Mister Crocker gets cheese powers. Fairies. I thought it was just so fucking cool for some reason when I was a kid when he's all like cheesed out and he's fucking spraying like cheese webs at everything and. <laughs> When he's all cheesed out. Munster. Yeah. <laughs> when he got that cheddar. Oh, wait. What about Jimmy Neutron? Because they did that crossover episode with Jimmy Neutron characters. That was like one of the greatest things that has ever happened to us as children. Yeah, it was. That show slaps. I think I think I'd be Sheen. I was going to say Sheen for you as well. I'd probably be Sheen, and I, I think that you'd probably I, be Jimmy, honestly. I'd be Jimmy's dog. Goddard. <laughs> yeah. What about his dad? Hugh. <laughs> and that's that's how I set on a banana. <laughs> You'd be Hugh, you think, huh? Yeah, maybe. Did you ever watch the Sheen uh, split off show? No, I never. I never got Planet into it. Planet Sheen. No, it I don't think so. It wasn't that good. That's probably why I never watched it. <laughs> All right, next cartoon. What we got? Oh my god, dude! I'm out of cartoons. How are you out of cartoons? I'm oh, out. wait a minute. We we missed one of the most important ones. Did we? Yeah, fucking Bi- SpongeBob. Billy. Oh, they're gonna say Billy and Mandy. No, I'd be grim. There's no arguing that. 
I would also like to think that I'd be grim. I think we could probably both pass as grim for different reasons, but... But no, Spongebob, obviously. Uh... You'd be Squidward, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna there's go no Sandy, and, but... No, there's no oh, yeah. if, ands, or buts about it. You're a Squidward. Yeah, that's abs... Why did I forget Squidward existed? My mind went like, okay, there's Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, Larry, and Mr. Krabs. I would Forgot probably about be Sandy. Anymore. No. I think I'd be Sandy. I think you'd be the chocolate guy. Chocolate! Nah, fuck it. I'd be Doodle Bob. <laughs> meow, meow. Meow, meow. Dude, I'd be. Nah, I'd be Sandy. I'd be Sandy. I think. I. Okay, I got. Obviously, Squidward's gonna have to be me, but if it wasn't Squidward. It'd probably be either Plankton or Karen. I could see you being Plankton as well. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm fucking... I'm Wizard Gary. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely Wizard Gary for sure. I think Toby would be Flats. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can't you see he's gonna kick my butt? <laughs> How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Alright, are you ready to close this one out? Yeah, dude, I'm fucking struggling right now. <laughs> good, because I'm, I'm striking out, too. It's been a good one. It's been a, such an eventful... Alrighty. Well, thank you all for watching. Appreciate you. Uh, if you haven't already gone to check out the Instagram, it is in the description down below. Make sure you check that out. We post a bunch of reels and clips and shit like that on there, as well as the channel here. So make sure you also like and subscribe to this channel, uh, or like this video, subscribe to the channel, of course. And, uh, you know, it's... um. It's free, so you have nothing to lose. Just I like, mean, there's liking and subscribing. <laughs> you don't have anything to gain out of it either. You have everything to gain, nothing to lose. Just full send into that subscribe yeah. button and uh, have at it. So that's really all I got. You got any closing uh, closing thoughts? Hey, let us know what characters and other C words you relate to that I've forgotten you've given. Cuisine, car, and color. Boom. Like a fucking genius. Uh... <laughs> I like to know people's responses and why. I think it's fun. Just, just kind of talk through it. Yeah. Let us know. What What are your four C's? Are you, what is your cartoon character, color, cuisine, and car? Let us let know us if know. you have any C4. <laughs> <laughs> and what you want to blow up with it. Yeah. Let me yeah. know how many more lumens I should have in my office. Because <laughs> 700 isn't enough. Yeah, we need some more lumens in there. That's what we do with all the money we rake in from the podcast. It all goes to my lighting. It all goes to lumens. Yeah. It all goes to lumens. But anyway. No, I, I got nothing. Thank you all. Appreciate you. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.